Well, we've likely all done a puzzle at some stage in our lives. It's relaxing, something that you can do by yourself or with friends or family. But for others, it is competitive. Teams travel to compete in jigsaw puzzle derbies and contests. The St. Paul Winter Carnival is host to the biggest in the country. And as WCCO's Jennifer Merrily found, the passion people have for puzzles is palpable. When they do the countdown and all the bags open, it's so exciting for us to see all these other people here that love to do puzzles just like us. The puzzle is kept a secret until the moment teams tear in. 77 teams of four fill the round tables inside the Landmark Center. I didn't know there was this many puzzle fanatics. The goal is to interlock all 500 pieces of the jigsaw puzzle the fastest. I'm just going to start taking dark blue out. Participants traveled from Texas, Massachusetts, Utah, and... We're from Orange County, California. All to get their hands on a puzzle in a room full of like-minded people. The reigning champs from Duluth are back to defend their puzzle perfecting title. We have done a lot of practicing this year just to make sure that we have the best chance possible. And there's the team looking to make a comeback. Here's another edge. We've got kind of a friendly rivalry going. We've won several years. They've won a few years. The collectors connected more than a decade ago. I was asked to audition. Cynthia, Mark, and Mike are from the Twin Cities. John is a former state representative from Iowa. I think what really makes our team click is how well we work together. Um, there's no competition amongst us. Each brings their own skill set to the table. Uh, I guess I, I think I'm kind of a tactile person and I like that, the putting the pieces in and kind of the eye-hand coordination. The team develops a strategy during practice. Yeah. Don't anybody start assembling until everything is flipped over. Puzzling for hours before a competition. There's a method to being fast and precise. People usually pick uh, large color areas and work them. One person might, might be sorting for the team. That's often me. How do you stay out of each other's way? <laughs> well, if you've noticed, we don't. <laughs> People ask, how do you practice doing jigsaw puzzles? You don't really practice. It's a skill you have or don't have. What we practice is working together as a team, and, um, and I think we do pretty well. The fascination with snapping pieces into place began early for these puzzlers. I'm sitting at the kitchen table, and I have sorted my tinker toys. And it has only grown. But I think I'm over 10,000 jigsaw puzzles in the house. When a piece clicks into place, it offers a sense of accomplishment. It's a problem where you know there's a solution. If you just work at it, you know you can solve it. And when you're done, you know you've solved it completely. Done. The team thrives on competition and camaraderie. I'm going to be in a room with two or three hundred people that I can I can say all the stuff that I could that makes sense to them that wouldn't make sense to other people. Other people would probably laugh at. During the race to finish, it's unknown how far along other teams are. The focus is inside the border. Looking around, you guys are good in there. Don't talk to us. Thank you. <laughs> when the final few are left to <laughs> click into place, We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Come on, we can do it. Motivation goes a long way. Done. Done. <laughs> We're back. Wow, we didn't beat him by much. Congratulations. Yes, congrats, guys. <laughs> Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Hmm. Uh, the winning team completed the puzzle in 36 minutes and 52 seconds. Other teams took two hours to finish. And they actually had this twist that made it even more challenging. The images on the box were in different places than the actual puzzle, and then some of them actually had different colors. What? Yes. I'm always looking at the box. You can't do that. They're messing with you. <laughs> well, uh, this competition is so sought after that registration sells out in just a few days. How about that? I think maybe we should try that. I think that would be, I think we'd Let's get see killed. how we work together as a team. Uh, not well. <laughs> There'd be a lot of screaming going on. <laughs>